This is Wandering Universe. In this video, I'll be discussing the infrastructure aspects of the Giza pyramids and a hypothetical look at how it impacted the kingdom's economy if they were built today. So, let's go exploring. Okay, here we are. This is a black and white photo that was taken in 1870 of how it looked back then, as you can see here. I'll show you another photo. This is how it looks today without the sand burying it all underneath. Now, I do have a big bone to pick on the ingenuity of the ancient massive building works in Egypt. Just when I thought the pyramids were built by thousands of non-qualified skilled labourers that risked their life and limb to carve, chisel, hammer, haul, carry, lever, hoist and carefully place each individual stone block neatly without leaving one space, gap or room for error. I'll show you what I mean, as you can see here. Now, how on earth would have these non-skilled labourers, who were mainly agricultural farmers, gave up their precious lands they've toiled and harvested to feed the masses, sacrificed their farming business to go to work in the city for better pay? Hmm. These farmers were not entirely talented construction workers, nor professional stone masoners. They didn't have the necessary skills that qualified them to justify the niche theory proclaimed by academics and archaeologists for more than a century. Now I'll show you a side view, if you know what I mean. This niche and primed theory that it was us that built these magnificent structures for the world to worship and admire doesn't sit right at all. There are too many hidden clues that are shown on the stone walls. As the old saying goes, the writing is on the wall. The truth sat shall set you free, but it's sure as hellfire gonna hurt you first. Let's go forward in time and break down this hypothesis into a modern day look if we were to build these grand and phenomenal building projects. Now, this is the floor plan, and I'm going to go into more detail. Here we go. Imagine you were planning on building an apartment building on a very large square block. What do you envision the project? You can't just build these structures by accident or at a moment's notice or by chance. It requires very careful planning brainstorming and consultation on every aspect of the project. You hire an architect to draw a floor plan, a blueprint on how it's going to look on the inside and out. I'll show you what I mean. This is a floor plan, a blueprint of a theatre, believe it or not. I'll give you a clue. This is the auditorium, okay? Then you consult with a property developer who then in turn will consult with their architect to model on how it's going to look when completed. Ah, then you display the model to entice interested shareholders. Then you employ a construction company who in turn consults with engineers to build the building according to schematics and time schedule. Once you have the blueprint map of the building, you then have to consult with engineers to work out the building materials required to set the foundation before the skeleton frame goes up, okay? And I'll show you what I mean, okay? This is reinforced concrete and this is the foundation, okay? The skeletal frame that makes the one entire building, all right? Now, then you'll have to face many priority issues such as wages, liabilities, food, water, shelter, tools, machinery, uniforms, if any, hours of labour, worker disputes, strikes, industrial action, construction issues, accidents, etc. The list just goes on before you comm commence the construction. Then you've got private investors who will quietly in the background ask the property developers to commence cutting corners, mm, such as appliances, marble bench tops, dishwashers, ovens, taps, sinks, windows, carpenting, sorry, carpent carpentry, I think, 
um, floorboards and the list goes on. Even though they've promised investors in the display centre, it will be handcrafted from Italy. Hmm. It's actually made in China and India. Many materials would have been cheaply imported to cut costs. Finally, you have the real estate agents. Aha! Calling out for buyers to invest or buy a safety net at hyperinflated prices that forces you to acquire a bank loan to pay for this ex extravagant marvel. And the biggest spiel they yell out in their megaphones at every open for inspection home is location, location, location. And this is what I mean. That is the world of property development. Property development is no easy endeavor. It takes time, planning, and a team of architects, engineers, town planners, landholders, a private and outside investors, property lawyers, and city councillors to draw a blueprint of one building, as you can see here. If we were to build these pyramids today, as you can see in this photograph, how much would it cost? Well, consider adjusting the budget to today's inflation. Highly, highly enormous. You're looking at several trillion to several gazillion dollars. That will drain the government coffers within a week. And I'll show you what I mean. Voila. It will send the entire country's economy into freefall. The entire nation will go bankrupt and the overinflated, budgeted nation's debt will skyrocket, not forgetting interest that they will never, ever pay off this overambitious, over-the-top, enormous undertaking. And it gets even worse. Yes, not very, um, very healthy, does it? The shareholders, investors and bankers would end up out of business. This type of project is too costly to even imagine. But here's the interesting question. If we use the tools and state-of-the-art machinery to build these amazing wonders of the world structures, how long would it take? Hmm. Yes. During the Egyptian Empire heyday, as you can see in this illustration, it would have taken more than 600 years to build just one. At the rates they were going, it's not viable. Not even tool, the tools they used back then would have sped up the progress. Yes, do you think so? Hmm. But if we use the modern tools and machinery of today, it would take way, way less, possibly 100 to 200 years. But that's just my guess. So this is what I'm talking about here. What you've got to realize, these pyramids were not designed by accident or a drop of a hat. This building project requires highly, highly levels of professional mastery to plan and craft these monuments without leaving any room for major and minor errors. Yes. What this tells me is the fact that whoever built these pyramids, palaces, tunnels, channels, walls, writing, and everything else under the sun, was most certainly not done by us. Our minds were adjusting from hunter-gatherer times to a period of creating a farming arms economy. Our minds didn't have the huge brain capacity or the ability to absorb this highly advanced knowledge of inc um, incredibly complex mathematical sums and equations and linguistic inventiveness. In other words, you just can't learn as you go whilst you put the whole building together. Okay, it's impossible. It's just not viable. It simply didn't happen that way. Now, guess who did build them? Okay, I'm going to give you a good guess. You ready? Hmm. It wasn't us that built them. Whoever they were, they obviously knew exactly what they were doing because these beings from other worlds, somewhere in the Milky Way, had done these unimaginable feats of engineering a thousand times before without leaving room for mistakes. We need to ask ourselves this. 
Is there any writing on any stone walls indicating an architect or text, engineers, a blueprint of some sort for the type of structures costs investors? No. Sadly, there isn't. We do not have the means, the resources, the talent, the skill, or the know-how intelligence to build these structures. You cannot build these pyramids perfectly first time round without errors. It's just simply impossible. We humans were not incredibly great engineers, or architects for that matter. It was someone else or a group of beings from another world who built them. And let this be food for thought for you. In time, the truth will come out into the open that will finally answer this one question. How on earth do these mighty and opulent structures were built way, way before the farming era? If we were to build them today, it is highly unlikely we would accomplish its design identically, even to implement highly advanced machinery of today opting to replace stone blocks to lower costs by utilising steel frames and reinforce, reinforced concrete blocks. Yet, these modern day pyramids built by today's technology will only last for 200 to 300 years. Yet, these pyramids will dwarf our skyscrapers and office towers for thousands of years more that will continue to stand the test of time through all environmental elements. In the end, we humans are not capable of accepting the reality that it wasn't us that built them. It was some, someone else, some other highly intelligent and advanced team of inventors yet to be identified that cultivated this marvel engineering that will always be remembered as one of the great ingenious wonders of the world. That's all for now.